Hey guys, this is Lou Filla. I am an IT director for several businesses and schools in the St. Louis area. And I am putting in a Ubiquity door access system. And I thought I'd kind of go through this just because I've been on YouTube a lot and I've seen a lot of videos on this, but everyone pretty much just puts one door, one lock, very simple, but I wanted to kind of expand this video for several doors and several entrances, motion sensors, etc., all running on basically two doors, but it can run on multiple doors as I've been discovering. So um, let's just get into it right away. So as you can see, I've kind of done a lot of low voltage wiring here. Um, I have my two locks. I have a 600 pound lock and a 300 pound lock um, as my example. I have two motion sensors um, and then of course I have the camera and the light access. Uh, as a part of my system I've actually wired in three push buttons um, and really I can ultimately go to more than that uh, simply by just adding that into the system. So and I've also added uh, a push button um, which you can actually put um, on a door to access and release and, and that kind of thing. So let me get into the actual controller here. Um, what I did is um, on the left side, you can see this on Ubiquity. They kind of send you a, a tutorial, a little bit of a PDF on how to wire this up. I kind of followed that with the door. Um, this particular 300 pound door, this has a, um, this is connected via AC adapter. So that's why the wiring is a little different. I did the uh, fail safe lock. Um, but as you can see, this one here is just wired in regular. Now on my door sensors, what I did is I did, um, let me zoom here in a little bit. Um, here is the contacts themselves. So simple, you know, power, uh, negative, black, white. And then, of course, I ran 22 uh, four uh, gauge, 22 gauge four wire. And in here is where I've run my uh, yellow and my blue. And that'll give me, uh, of course, requ request to exit, um, which is what the sensor does. Um, moving forward, the buttons... Um, of course, as you can see, it's a requ request to release. Um, and so what I did is I wired them all in unison, uh, black, white, black, white, and then ran them back here. So as you can tell, um, any button that I press will release the system. So obviously we can try all three, but you get the idea. Now with the push button, what I did there is um, I wired that into, uh, just for purposes of uh, diagnostic, request to enter. Um, theoretically, it could go into uh, request to exit, but I chose to put it right here, um, which is request to enter, and that's just a simple positive negative. Um, so here, this is a really neat tool because this doesn't really allow for a sensor to be put at every door. You just walk up, and of course, when you push the button, it'll actually release everything. So um, that's how that works. Again, back to the sensors, just to verify when you walk by, that will also release them. Um, but again, this is a two-door system. Um, I can actually expand this. Um, of course, if you connect up in here, um, right up in here, you should be able to put another door in. Um, I know a lot of people talk about security and releasing more than one door, but I am just giving you an example of how you can do this. Um, and again, it's a multiple system with multiple inputs. Um, if we go by one of these, we should be able to open the door. Um, and then, of course, if we walk up to the camera. Welcome, Lou. So that's that. If you guys have any questions on this system, uh, feel free to, to send me a message. But I thought I would do this one because it's a little more extensive in regards to how a system is actually put together with Ubiquity. So 
Thanks, guys. First video. Hopefully, uh, more to come. Thanks. Bye.